May the blessings of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with you and your entire family. I want to pray for your life and your family, specifically for your children. Declaring these powerful psalms with each psalm, I will be offering a prayer in this prayer. You can find rest. You can even lie down in your bed and let these psalms bless your family. Agree with me in this prayer. These songs are songs of spiritual battle and psalms to overcome the enemy. The word of God is like a sharp sword, certainly when you use with faith, connected to the Holy Spirit. Great miracles happen. Spiritual chains fall to the ground. If you are suffering from fear, anxiety, if you are still enslaved to the past, or even the present, know that this prayer we are about to pray will bring life and peace to your life and your family. Psalm 91 He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the flower and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings. You will find refuge. His trust shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by the night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your sight, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you. To guard you in all your ways, they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will tremble the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call to me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Lord God, in the blessed name of Jesus Christ, we now ask for your protection over this house. We declare, O God, that the mighty hand of the Lord is upon each one of them. In this home, in this environment, we bless this house, O Father, so that there may be peace, so that they may be joy, so that the Lord may strengthen this home. We rebuke everything that is negative fights, disagreements, contradictions, and we want to declare that the blessings of the Lord over this home. Prophecy, O oh Father, that in this home people will sleep safely, yes, because the Lord is sustaining this house, Lord God. We declare that the hand of the Lord, the mighty hand of the Lord is upon this house and the environment. The blood of King Jesus is covering, protecting the roof of this house. We pray, Father, declaring that no evil has the power to move within this house or even disturb the sleep of the people who live in this home. In the mighty name of King Jesus, may this home be completely covered by the Lord, guarded twenty-four hours a day by the mighty angels of God. Amen. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. 
You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my herd with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of my Lord forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to prophesy, Lord, provision over this home. The Lord is our shepherd, and we shall not lack anything. We want to declare abundance entering this home, prosperity, wealth, financial victories. We want to declare that you are the provider of our house. You are the provider of this home. Your word says, Lord, you give to your children are they sleep. Therefore, Father, I believe that during this night of sleep, this person will be blessed by you. Their projects, their plans, their connections, their sales, their businesses will be released by the Lord while they sleep. We put everything in your hands, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we ask you, O God, to bless the work of this person, the work of everyone in this house, so that it may be fruitful, so that it may yield and bring much joy to this family. I want to declare, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that the blessings of the Lord and the promises of the Lord are upon this home. This home is blessed by God. The spirit of destruction of misery, of bankruptcy, has no power over this house, has no power over this family, because this family is guarded by the God of providence, and as it is written in your word, O God, we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to us. Sir, for, O oh God, we rest in you because you are our God, the God of our salvation, in whom we trust. You are the God who owns gold and silver, and certainly, O oh God, you will bless the fruit of our labor. You will bless our businesses. You will bless our coming and end our going out. Certainly, Father, everything we have and that is connected to us, is blessed by you, is protected by you in the mighty name of King. Jesus. Amen. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid of? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes they stumbled and fell though an army may encamp against me. My heart shall not fear, though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. One in thing I have desire of the Lord, that I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock, and now my herd shall be lifted up above my enemies.